Right, let's go ahead and swap some things out. Store that. Store that for now. <clears throat> Might as well scrap it. Oh, it's legendary, right? Yeah, it's legendary. Yeah, I'll keep it. That's legendary too. Oh, I just want to be able to use that level 35, dude. Oh, oh, what? There is a hunting rifle on that. Damn, I didn't even know that. Keeping that venue. Yeah. 25. This one is 15. How much more? 50, yes. Take that. We can scrap that. I would like to repair this. Let's, let's see if I can repair it. Alright, I can scrap that hat. I can scrap the clown thing. Uh. Oh, I can use that now, too. Yeah, let's... Wow, I got three of those. Okay, yeah, let's scrap two of these. Scrap the raider chest piece. Let's take that and wear it. Ooh, let's wear this, actually. And then we can... I wanna, let's play around with my armor a little bit. This is off T51. I got left leg, right arm, torso, left leg. Okay, I got two left legs, right? Oh, that's T60. Okay. Alright, let's scrap what I need to scrap. I just want to see what I look like. <laughs> oh, is that my left arm? I don't think I can modify it, can I? Make it look better? was better then. Probably this. Yeah. So then let's go ahead and scrap it. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, put that on. Nice. I like that. The little robot arm. <laughs> Alright, so I guess because I look kind of dumb, we're going to keep my fire outfit on over all that stuff. Just, you know, to keep extra. Keep the extra stuff on me. Now let's go appearance and put away where I'm not gonna wear. Well, I just waste 10. Let's put that away. I mean, 10, 20, kind of adds up quickly. 
<laughs> so if I'm not using it, let's just put it away. I can scrap the arm. any crossbow and I don't think I can make any ammo. Is this where I make ammo? No. This is where I make ammo, right? Yeah. I don't think I can make crossbow. So I might as well put my crossbow away for a while. I mean, how much does it weigh? Seven pounds, eh. Yeah, let's store it for a little bit. Oh, that's right, I was gonna scrap a gun or two, right? I was gonna scrap this one. And then I was gonna scrap this. <coughs> I think, uh, wait, someone told me ammo weighs something. Is that, is that true? Yep, ammo actually weighs stuff, that's slam. Missiles weigh two? Holy shit. Alright, let's put away the missiles then. That's probably what's weighing me down. Okay, put away the cannonball. <laughs> uh, fusion cores weigh three pounds each. So let's go ahead and put some fusion cores away. Because I got a lot. And let's keep the stack at 8 I'm already carrying. Let's put away all the missiles. Okay, that's a huge difference. I did not know fusion cores and ammo was weighing me down that much. So. Alright, I'm down by a lot of weight and we are good. We are good to go. And just for the hell of it, I got some caps to spare. There's only 21 caps now. Let's do that. Tuck away in my house. We're good. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure I, sh I saved it recently, but nothing else changed, so we're good. <coughs> Getting low on food. And uh, water. So we're gonna need to go collect some of that. Oh. I hate when I do that. I pull down quickly and I hit my wire. <laughs> Alright. I also don't know what I could be doing. I guess we can go hunt for some power armor. See if we can find anything. We're good. I got a few screenshots of some locations. I guess we can start doing that. So, let me see. I'm, at, I'm so far up. The first location is uh, kind of close. It's like... It's like out here somewhere. There's some players nearby too. Oh. Machines make a hell of a 
Fusion shields. No. Oh shit. Oh, of course I got reload. Oh, I didn't even repair that like I wanted to. Motherfucker. So what did I gotta do in here? Well first, I'm taking that dog food. I'm gonna eat it, just so I can keep my food up. This event, I ain't doing this shit. I don't got time. <sighs> Someone was just emoting over there. the player. Oh, they're both over there. Stay back. Oh, shit. We're good. I didn't get anything. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Someone's walked into another one. There's like nothing in here. That. There's two players right here. Oh, this guy like made like a little camp. Or is this like a pre made camp? I think this might be his. Yeah, it's his. Do not want to do that. What are these guys doing? Oh, he might have gotten the power armor here. You wonder if they're friends? What the fuck is that? Oh. Okay. There's a fucking player here too. 
Does everybody know about these power armor areas? I'm just kind of hoping they didn't get this one. Even though I have a high... High, uh... What do you want to call it? Whatever. I, I, I know they took it. <laughs> or got it. I'll take it just to scrap it. Oh. <laughs> He's probably here for the same fucking thing, dude. If he finds it before me, it's gonna suck, but it's whatever. I'll I'll just move on. <clears throat> I mean, there's dozens and dozens of servers I'm I'm sure in. I'll find power armor in the future. It's not always a huge loss if I miss it. Actually, I don't even know where the fuck it is. I'm not even seeing it. Oh! Hope that was him. Okay, no. It was. Yeah. <coughs> that shot me. I was like, I hope the guy isn't trying to fight me. Maybe this power armor is in here. Unless someone else got it. Yeah, I just don't know where it is. Come on. in the barn? Or is it like in one of these like train cards? Because I'm not seeing no power armor uh, station anyway. Might be in a train cart. Oh, right here? Maybe? No. I feel like it definitely is in one of these train carts. Or maybe the guy didn't sh show the right spot. I mean, he showed it like right over here, but who knows? It's kind of nice not to see like people just <laughs> straight up trying to attack you all the time. I wish I could sell. Stock up now while supply. Are I wish I could sell available. my plans to you. Huh. Do not know. Let's 
some, wow. I just you know that someone told me there's power armor here. Well, I, somebody did tell me. I looked at a picture, and I'm at the right place, but there's no power armor. Not even like a little, like not even like a power armor station. Just show. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it's right. It's like he's like right up here. Well, not right up here, but he's like down here somewhere. <laughs> Is it down there? Oh, it could be down there. Maybe. Go check. Sure, what I just grabbed. <laughs> well, I might just move on to the next spot because uh, <coughs> I'm not seeing power armor here. as I thought. Like, I don't even see the power armor station itself. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost just did it again. That's lame. Also, it's actually like hidden. I'm just really not finding it. <laughs> it's like my only like assumption, but I looked everywhere. shells. Alright, well, another spot is actually uh, right down here somewhere, like down here where these two are.
I wonder if he's looking for it too. I guess it's not here on this server. Alright, well, I'm gonna go head down. Uh, it's like, it's kinda like right here. Oh no, I don't want Adam. Fucking game. No. There we go, place my marker. Alright. <clears throat> Are those two guys really just standing there still? Oh, I actually just came from this place, didn't I? Yeah, they're just standing there. Okay, I just came from here, so... Either there was armor in this building. Yeah, see, right there. So, I'm guessing that guy who has power on over there took it. Alright. Oh, there's another spot, I guess, nearby, which is uh, down here. We can go check that place. And that's just the thing, you know, like, it's not really a huge issue if, there's, if it's not there for you because, like, there's multiple servers and then there's just, like, you know, like, you get all the time in the world to get some stuff. Not really in a huge rush to just get it. Alright, so. Not a thousand percent sure why. He, uh. Oh, you know what? I think I'm looking at Iran markers. Maybe. Let me see something. Because, like, I'm like. Yeah, okay. So, his. Was like. So his marker was like right here, but like I don't see like any type of building <laughs> that would have just power armor just sitting here. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I know there's like one down by like the Mothman area. Wait a minute. So one he will show me back here. I'm gonna fast travel back real quick. Apparently it was like in a like a red type deal. Red card. Oh, I don't even know if I even checked that cart. I mean, if I did, then someone took it, but... You know? We're just gonna... We're just gonna look around for power armor. he because wherever he was it, there was like a red cart right in front of him is he all back he might be all back where am i <laughs> oh explosion crate right here i'll take that all right is this it yeah this is it so for him there's was wait, that makes no sense. So, it, so it's different on maps, or am I 
legit just I like a dark spot that I think. I'm so confused. No, this is it. Oh, okay. So yeah, like for him the power armor was like right here. And it's not there for me, which means I think someone did take it, unfortunately. But yeah, it was it was right right there. Okie okay, dokie. Let's look for a different place, I guess, for power armor. Alright, what's the second location? Okay, I know the second location. And our location, I guess, is, uh... Uh... Where? Is it down here? Yeah, it's up in Mothman City. 23 caps. Fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm broke anyways. Where is it? It's gonna be on a rooftop if it's there. Okay. Mothman Museum. I mean, if anything, you know, it's just, it's power armor. I don't care. I'm just, you know, I'm just seeing if we can find any. I also want to check this place out. Been here at the beta, but not for these, and I didn't get to listen to this. The moth man. Welcome back, dear listeners. Time once again to put aside all you need to know true. Time to open your mind to the strange, bizarre. And sometimes terrifying world that exists in the shadows and fringes of our own, where myth, legend, and rumor are made real. Yes, it's time for more thrilling tales from the West Virginia Hills. Not all creatures are of the land, some stalk the skies. One such boogeyman has been reported for generations by mystified West Virginians. Its name remains the same, but accounts and speculation about its nature vary wildly. Some say man, others say beast, some say devil, others say angel. Tonight's tale, The Mothman Comet, begins in Morgantown Municipal Hospital. We join young Mary Scarberry's bedside as she wakes, looking a little worse for wear. Say last words and final prayers before you hit the river. Stop teasing me! I told 
story. <laughs> I think the power, I don't even know where the power armor will be. Oh, am I really drink thirsty? Uh, drink those. Yeah, I can't eat dog food. These motherfuckers need to piss off and quit shooting me. I love how it's basically free ammo. Oh, hot dog. <laughs> we had Junior. You know, just because I like to have something to listen to, uh, let's listen to some more things. I think the power armor was like right here, and it's not there. So either somebody got it, or it's just not there for me. But yeah, I think let's stop trying to look for power armor. Just do some stuff. I talked to Shea about finding some food. She said 
She'd give me the info about a place if I grabbed some food for both of us. Well, I agreed. And she pointed me to an old building nearby. Machine that made up what she called it cream. No, I never heard of it, but she promised that it tasted good and it would keep us both from starving. All I had to do was push a button and the machines would start cranking out bottles. What she forgot to tell me was that it would be loud as hell and attract every creature in earshot. It took everything I had to fight the things that swarmed the building. I barely made it out of there alive. <laughs> if anyone finds this, tell Sheila that I'm keeping all the damn bottles of cream. Next time, she can come get her own. Sounds like she was trying to get him killed. Oh no, I, I dropped it. We call it the Great War now. It's not been long and things have been rough. Welcome to Survivor Stories. I'm Dasa Ben Ami, a responder. I've been working with the responders for a couple of years now. I'm from Charleston originally, so it was easy to join up. What wasn't easy was the work. Rebuilding Appalachia from the rubble while survivors flock to us regularly from all over. So many have come and gone. Their stories untold. Their names lost to time. I thought we should preserve this history somehow. I've decided to ask people to record their thoughts, their stories, Anything they want to preserve forever. I'll call this series the Survivor Stories. I'll start with me. I was an anthropology PhD student at Vault. I was in my thesis when I heard the sirens. I, I thought for sure my father, a Vault Tech employee, could take us all with him, but only two reservations came through. I refused to go. My little brother, he went to the vault. They could not persuade me, though they tried. In the end, I pushed them inside it, and that was it. After that, I, I went back home to Charleston and, well, I survived. Eventually, the responders formed, and I, I started right away. now for, uh, oh, I guess two years. We have big plans. We can do so much to help. Maybe, just maybe, we can rebuild enough to be okay. And in the meantime, I will continue to record stories of survivors when I can. We are your history. This is Dasa Ben Ami, signing off for now. All right, that's one. Reverend Delbert Winters here, born and raised in this very town. Met my own church to the responders for their outpost here, and uh, you're welcome. The responders are on a true mission, you see, helping folks through thick and thin until the heavens open up again and take us all up anyways. When this all happened, I figured like most it was time this was the end, but, but it wasn't, was it? We're still here. At first, I thought it was a mistake that we would miss. God, maybe we did some wrong. What the fuck? Didn't give enough to charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name, even in the worst of times. Maybe thought some things that ought not to have been thought. So I asked, I asked how? sick, they said, covered in their own filth. 
I realized right then and there that I was being tasked. From then on, I built kitchens, cooked good food, fed anyone who walked up with an empty belly. And I was thankful for my task in life. Thankful. <laughs> Next time hell or high water land in my stoop, I'll be swept clear away with it. But until then, let's share a home-cooked meal together, all right? Reverend Delbert Winters here, born. Reverend... Just talking to this? Oh, uh, yeah, am I loud enough? Okay, um... Hi. What do you want me to say exactly? Yeah, so just talk about how you got here and maybe a little bit about your life. This is a historic document. Go ahead, Tabitha. Okay, 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 so, well, thanks. Ah, uh, okay. Whew. I've been sober. Nine days. Um, I got here nine days ago. My name is, is Tabitha. And this is my story. I just found out about everything. <laughs> the war, the bombs, I, I just... I just realized this was, uh, <laughs> really happening. For years, I thought the chems were playing tricks with my mind. Hurting my brain. Thought it was the worst trip ever. Every time I'd come out of my haze long enough to look for food, I'd find more chems and, well, they kept going. And I kept seeing madness. Look, oh. I would have been wandering around fighting giant rats and eating garbage if not for the responders. They're... They're good folks. That doc in the church, um, got me some meds that are helping out a lot. And they have group therapy meetings, and it's good, it's good. I, I, I think it's home. But listen, um, you should avoid the mountains. <laughs> They'll just get you get you doing things you don't want to do. Hurting people mostly. I mean, there are so many chems up there. I spent too long there and 